the airline industry has uh, now been able to deliver uh, unique customer experiences and uh, simplified uh, underlying uh, processes and most importantly it enhancing the product uh, productivity of the workforce so the next stride in uh, leveraging iot can uh, lead to the exploration of newer dimensions in the aviation industry so combining with iot with other technologies like uh, ai and uh, robotic could generate a number of opportunities related to service uh, delivery improvement particularly in aviation industry uh, further a smart iot ecosystem uh, can bring in all the required entities and uh, assets together in the industry value chain and uh, make it uh, look like a new normal uh, the era of, era of smart and uh, civil aviation is uh, rapidly up, uh, approaching and the faster internet uh, speeds uh, now it is when uh, we are in the 5g connectivity so the faster internet speeds of 5, uh, 5g will improve the passengers travel experiences also and uh, airport uh, some of the airport covers uh, many 5g application scenarios Uh, so we may say uh, transportation uh, ticket issuance logistic and uh, some more passenger services like that in addition to 5g technology uh, one important technology that is a facial recognition and uh, smart robotics uh, that upgrade uh, the upgrade in the civil aviation services and change the current business model so the internet of things and the uh, automation automation Uh, improve the operational as well as the distribution efficiency so the future uh, that uh, futuristic technologies uh, shine through that information services and uh, intelligent uh, pavilions that uh, showcase the uh, development of civil aviation services so airports uh, now it is the airports are responsible for the take off landing and uh, some trip management of uh, thousands of flights per day so the successful airport operation uh, depends on the numerous indis- indispensable that uh, modern electronic devices uh, uh, particularly we may say that iot technology or iot uh, iot in that uh, aviation that is a very important part so the uh, uh, so, uh, so many the modern electronic and the monitoring networks are there so with a uh, uh, short brief i will go with that uh, today's session so internet of things for aviation or internet of things uh, applic- iot applications in aviation so the today's outline of today's session is start with the introduction of that iot and what is the internet of flying things I- I- ioft then what are the existing technologies in the in aviation industry and what are the iot adoption challenges in aviation industry then what are the different opportunities of iot in aviation and growth of I- aviation iot industry and next uh, with that uh, some uh, some real life examples uh, what are the, uh, the different uh, uh, what uh, how the iot is uh, taking the flight in aviation in the real time scenario and how is the uh, internet of things changing the aviation industry and end up with the future of iot in the sky there is a future of iot in the aviation industry uh, so that's as per the thing the introduction of iot Uh, so imagine uh, waking up in the morning at the sound of alarm clock and your coffee maker automatically prepares your coffee so that is uh, nowadays uh, it's a uh, common quiet and uh, suppose whenever go for the shopping uh, how about your uh, refrigerator refrigerator uh, sending you a shopping list of item that you need to refill uh, for example uh, only two eggs are remaining in the refrigerator or your milk is low so like that so that 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 are the some of the development changes some of the advancement in the internet iot world so at present we are in the smart world so uh, actually who would have predicted that uh, mobile phones would have replaced uh, by the, our landline that is uh, since uh, landline is released in 1983 uh, by the motorola that is a uh, in, in the year that's a tino tag so we don't know now uh, actually that is replaced with the mobile phone nowadays so the same is true about the gps also the global positioning system so nowadays the maps have taken the passenger seat as a gps and take the driver seat also so the iot is a, a, a iot is a three letter acronym uh, for an umbrella set of uh, technologies uh, designed to enable the outcome based business model so the iot is a system of interrelated computing devices uh, mechanical and some digital machines uh, some of the objects 
animals or people so that are provided with the unique identifiers. Uh, say we may say that some IP addresses are like that. So with the help of that IP addresses, all the things and all the systems, all the people are connected. Um, so the some call uh, some uh, some calling of IoT the industrial internet. Some uh, sometimes we may say that IoT the IoT is the industrial internet mm -hmm. or machine to machine computing or industry 4.0 or uh, even we may say the transportation 4.0 like that. So the based on that the ability to transfer the data over a network without requiring any human to human or a human to computer interaction. So the IoT for the aerospace is a system of uh, sensors and activators interacting with the data processing, you know, communication systems, and uh, the ground-based processing and uh, some human. We may say uh, with the help of that, uh, uh, what uh, uh, government or some other human resources are there. With the help of that uh, human, we are uh, doing all the way. We are doing the processes. Uh, so the GE talks about uh, minds and machines, while others. Uh, simply places a, a word smart. So at present we are in the smart word. So generally the smart in the we may say the smart in front of any devices or any process or any business applications or any things. So we may say for example smartphone, smart TV, smart watch, uh, we may say smart car, uh, smart home, uh, smart factory, smart city, smart farm, smart health, like that, a smart aircraft, uh, we may say smart airline also. So like that, the list is going on like that. So nowadays, everything uh, everything uh, in, the, in the world of that smart, everything is based on the smart technology, that is IoT technology. Uh, so one important thing, uh, IoT, that is the Internet of, Internet of Things. So the T uh, stands for that, uh, Internet of Things, the T stands for Things. So Things, uh, things can be any, uh, it, 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 may be, it, it may be any natural or man-made object so that can be assigned an IP address and provided an ability to transfer the uh, data over some network, over a network. So things are the object of the physical world or uh, information world. We may say the virtual world. At present, we are in the, also the virtual world, like uh, so many that uh, technology, augmented reality, virtual reality, so many technologies also there. So the, uh, apart from that, the things are capable of uh, being identified and integrated into the communication layer. So basically, we are having the two things, physical things and virtual things. Uh, whenever I go for the physical things, whenever in the IoT system, the physical things is nothing but surrounding environment. So uh, we may say that some, some sort of sensors, some sort of electrical equipments are there. So these are the physical things. So from that physical things, we are collecting the information. If we may, uh, so many sensors are available. So that is uh, act as an input for the IoT system like that. And second important thing is the virtual things. So the virtual things are capable of uh, being the uh, uh, information that is uh, being stored information, processed information, or access to information. We may say examples of some multimedia content, uh, the Facebook content, Facebook data, a Twitter account like that. So these are the things. So basically, the things uh, can be a two types: of, uh, virtual things and physical things. The physical things is nothing but all the uh, that uh, surrounding environment uh, sensors some sort of electrical equipment like that. Virtual thing is nothing but all the data. So the data can be either it can be stored or it can be processed or it can be accessed uh, in uh, uh, the help of that, uh, all the social media. So from the social media, we're collecting the data, all the data. So that thing is called as a virtual thing. Uh, so here, yeah, actually, uh, we are starting from the internet of people to the internet of things. So the earlier days in the 1990s, uh, we are we, we actually we are uh, using the internet of people so we are uh, using the uh, internet for the people that is uh, hundreds of uh, millions of people are using that internet so gradually it's improving the things so in uh, 2020 uh, tens billion of that uh, people are connected so uh, with uh, even uh, apart from the people the things also connected so the, we are uh, actually deriving the, from the world of internet of people to the internet of things from the year of 1990 to 2020 so that is why it's going on like that. So yeah, apart, here, the smart world of IoT. So whenever, whenever we go for that uh, at present, we are in the smart world or IoT world. Here, every the uh, smart world, it enables everyday objects with the internet connectivity. So that is a very important uh, thing, as well as very important issue. Uh, internet connectivity is one important issue. 
so the iot world without internet connectivity we can't connect with the iot system and all so that is iot the internet connectivity is very very important thing so these objects are embedded with the sensors some sort of the sensors uh, electronics uh, some software is needed for making it and activators and apart from that network connectivity so that gives them the ability to exchange the data so whenever go for uh, focusing about the smart world of iot the smart we are actually we are having the four levels of smartness uh, we may say the start with the passive smartness so the passive smartness is nothing but it communicate only when queried so whenever needed whenever we are request that type of communication is needed so that is that is called as a passive smartness example we may say the passive rfid or some sort of qr codes so that is a passive smartness second type of second level of smartness is active smartness so the active smartness is nothing but uh, it, it communicate when needed so the previous one passive is nothing but communicate when only query second smartness is a active smartness that is a, it communicate when needed example we may say the sensors and uh, some home automation so maybe the in the home automation all the homes are connected all the home items are all the home things are connected with the sensors so in that case whenever needed whenever needed that communication will be established so that is called as active smartness third important level of smartness is aware so as per the aware, awareness or aware action uh, based on the simple computation uh, we may say nowadays we are in the uh, for the health purpose we are in the telehealth system uh, the uh, mobile health system or telehealth system like that so as per the telehealth system it's aware uh, it's a level of uh, third level it's a, that smartness is called as aware it, it's a, it's a action based on the sim simple computation the fourth level of uh, smartness is the, we may say the autonomous so now nowadays we are in the we are using autonomous cars as some sort of the smart grid system or like that so here as per the autonomous it can make the decisions uh, based on the rules so already we followed some rules already we framed some rules based on that rules it will be working so that is a that level of smartness is called as the autonomous so basically as per the smart world of iot as per we are in the uh, smart world or iot world basically we are having the four level of smartness we may say passive smartness active smartness aware smartness and apart from that autonomous smartness so that is a overview that is a smart world of iot and next very very important thing as per whenever go for the iot Uh, the five C's of IoT. Uh, we may say the continuity, uh, that connectivity, continuity, compliance, uh, coexistence, and cyber security. So these are the, some of the uh, uh, five C's of IoT. is a very important thing. Uh, all the way, uh, when I go for the IoT system, these five C's is very important all the way, all the time. So the connectivity. So the connectivity. We uh, we are aware of the connectivity. The connectivity is nothing but is needed to ensure ensure the IoT devices. Uh, connect to each other uh, connect to other iot devices uh, or other cloud system or uh, other the other world around the around them like that so next uh, continuity is nothing but it requires uh, it requires that iot devices have the extended battery life uh, to do their jobs properly so for the backup purpose or some sort of battery life, battery is needed for a uh, what the power for power backup is needed for performing such as that iot uh, device system for iot application so for that the continuity is another important uh, feature the third important feature is a compliance so as per the compliance it demands the compliance it demands the uh, iot devices adhere to the global, uh, global regulations as per the global regulations it following all the things the third fourth important uh, feature is a coexistence so the co coexistence means that iot devices must work harmoniously even in and in of iot environments So the fourth, fifth important, uh, the important feature of uh, that IoT is the cyber security. So all the way that is very important because nowadays we are in the uh, security that I as per the IoT system, the security issues also there. So that some security that that type of security issues will be uh, easily tackled or easily handled by the cyber security uh, process. So cyber security is needed to safeguard the data gathered from IoT devices from the cyber or some cyber attack or like that. So these are the very important things. So whenever, whenever the five C, the success in the IoT require all five C. It provide the uh, system. It provide the IoT system reliable uh, as well as as well as the robust connectivity, trusted continuity, assured compliance, 
and confidence in the in whole existence and tested as well as the hardened cyber security so these are the very important thing so as per iot system this 5c is very important so the reliable connectivity trusted continuity assured compliance confidence in whole existence uh, tested as well as the hardened cyber security so this is a very important thing so next how does uh, this impact you so new as per already uh, told you as per the uh, as per uh, thing we are in the uh, what uh, smart uh, smart world or iot world so here the new uh, rule for the future is going to be any anything that can be connected and it will be connected so by why on earth would you want so many connected devices talking to each other means for the communication purpose control and automation some sort of the cost savings also so these three important things so this is a, a impact actually the based on that iot systems um, so so internet of connected smart things so whenever go for the internet of connected smart things here a simple example of iot is uh, google's uh, we may say the google's the nest smart uh, hvac solution it's a subset of smart home technology so the google provide one important uh, uh, application that is a google's nest smart hvac solution it's a subset of your smart home technologies so here the nest is uh, basically a heating or air conditioning thermostat uh, controller uh, connected to the internet uh, so that enable remote programming as well as the control through the remote uh, uh, re remote uh, control a remote uh, through a remote uh, smartphone so that is a thing so in that uh, the whenever when i go for focusing about this google nest smart hvac solution the basic element so some of the basic elements are machine to machine interaction so through connectivity so from one machine one system to another system so we are connecting through that thing so with that that term the terminology the term is called as a connectivity the so next machine to human so next thing is a machine to human uh, so that is a, a human to machine or machine to human that is a autonom autonomics or, or autonomity or a autonomous car or autonomous system like that next human to human interaction the human to human connectivity uh, so that is a collaboration so one human uh, so end to end uh, one year end user so connected with another end users uh, like that so that is a overall user the user the iot system so all the way the collaboration so this is the thing the machine to machine interaction is nothing but with the help of the, it, 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 it's performing with the help of the connectivity machine to human or human to machine is connect with the help of the autonomics or autonomy autonomy autonomic system or autonomous system human to human connect, connected with the help of the collaboration connectivity so uh, this is a very thing here very important thing so here all the way uh, here the is that these three things connected with the sense and respond processing so all the things are connected with the, with the help of the nmo uh, nmoe that is a network of ecosystems so that is a internet of connected smart uh, things here all the way we are having the knowledge is shared uh, with all the connective all the machine to machine human to machine or machine human to human as well as uh, the data process and content so these are the important things so that is called as the internet of connected smart things so next important thing internet of flying things so nowadays we may say the we, we are in the so many application will be done with the help of iot particularly in aviation industry so uh, so as per the thing we may the new we may that we are coining the new terminology that is the internet of flying things that is io ft so the as uh, iofd that is uh, recently the ideas from fanet that is a flying ad hoc network uh, instead of the mobile ad hoc network here we are focusing about the flying ad hoc network have, have started to be synthesized with uh, those from the internet of things so are originating the internet of flying things so the fanet a uh, flying ad hoc network that originating that is a uh, that uh, that is an important term from for uh, pro proposing the internet of flying thing so the internet of flying thing is a paradigm uh, which enable an important new level of applications uh, like we may solve it solves the uh, known issues in the uh, unmanned uh, aerial vehicles that is a drone that thing some other thing and iot and expand the range of future applications also so here the as for the internet of flying things uh, best example of internet of flying things are drones that is unmanned uh, aerial vehicles the uh, uav drones are an emerging form of new iot devices uh, so the uh, whatever the uh, 
it's a tri in the sky with the full network connectivity capability uh, capability so actually particularly in the pandemic pandemic situation that the trons are uh, the uh, the applications of trons is very much useful nowadays so in that case uh, as per the trons uh, so many that intelligent trons with some cognitive computing skills uh, need the capability to automatically recognize and uh, track the objects uh, for the two free users to the free users from the tedious task of controlling them so all of which must be performed with the power constraint environment that is uh, we are using the uh, lipo battery uh, lithium poly power battery for uh, activating the drone and all so that is a thing so an unma unmanned aerial vehicle is an aircraft without a uh, human pilot on a on board and a type of unmanned vehicle so you, you uh, that is a uav or a component of an unmanned aircraft system so we may say that is also one important thing so that is the internet of flying things so next uh, as per the thing i would say operational architecture in the aviation uh, service life cycle management so as per the thing whenever we are focusing about the this iot operational architecture the predictive maintenance uh, must be implemented in the actual airlines uh, current and future technology system that is a very important thing the predictive maintenance uh, as per that uh, terminology in that uh, aviation system that is the aviation service life cycle management Uh, so it is formally uh, described as combining the information technology and operational technology. So the two important uh, technology are combining as per that IoT operational architecture, IoT that is the information technology and operational technology. So the information technology is nothing but is accomplished by the uh, ERP that is enterprise resource uh, planning as well as the supply chain management. and uh, some sort of uh, cms that is a content management system and the mro also M, uh, that is mro is something maintenance uh, repair and overhaul the system oh, uh, where is uh, uh, that operational technology include the on board central maintenance computer that is a cmc uh, central maintenance computer that uh, engine control and some sort of avionics system and uh, even near the board system like uh, some sort of diagnostics or health management system that is also So as per this uh, here, in this uh, slide here, the aviation operational uh, uh, technology architecture is uh, here. Uh, as per the things here, having the uh, life cycle management of the operational architecture uh, based on the operate IoT system, based on the information technology and operational technology. Here start with the sensors. Here the, 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 the data, the sense, the data is collected. Data are data are collected. The data is collected from the sensors. So the here the data acquisitions are different life cycles are there data acquisition, data manipulation, and uh, state selection, health assessment, and uh, some sort of the prognostic assessment, advisory generation like that will be going on. So this is one important uh, uh, what we may say uh, IoT operational architecture architecture in particular in the aviation service. Uh, so. Second thing, the IoT informational architecture. So earlier I told you, as per the IoT, IoT system is commonly described as combining the information technology and operational technology. The previous one, the previous one is the operational technology. So operational architecture, life cycle is given. The second one is the information technology. So IoT informational architecture. So here, so the Internet of Things can be harnessed to improve the MRO process. So that is the maintenance as well as the repair and overhaul that process in areas such as the predictive maintenance, uh, some sort of the diagnostics, prognostics, and asset health management, as well as how it can enhance the flight operations, uh, as well as it enable the servitization and uh, support the new and more efficient business model uh, in terms of uh, aviation industry, so uh, uh, delivering the better outcome for all the parties like that. so that is a important thing so that to actually realize the value from the pdm capability that is a predictive maintenance as per the predictive capabilities i i it and information technology and operational technology system will need to be integrated and mature so that is a based on that easily we can do the lot of activity in a, particularly in the aviation industry with the help of iot so doing that start with an understanding of the state of the system today and a plan on where to go moving forward and beyond the iot is an ecosystem of ecosystem that is a set of capabilities so they they cannot be integrated or matured in a wake up vacuum 
So that is the thing. So as per the thing, one of the for that things so here we are redesigning, responding, monitoring, sensing, so all the way we are connected with the IoT uh, system. See if your aircraft or engine or a component of OEM, that is the original equipment manufacturer, uh, the OEM don't cap, uh, enable the IoT sensing or if your MRO vendors don't improve their MRO or CMS, uh, digital and mobility capability, then, uh, then automatically uh, building the best internal IT and OT will mean realizing less value from your investment. So that's increasing the cost for everyone in the aviation ecosystem. So a very important thing, whenever go for that aviation ecosystem, uh, yeah, this is a very important thing, IT and uh, OT, that is a informational techno information technology as well as the operational technology. So whenever we are focusing about these two things automatically, whenever go for a building of such a system, such IoT uh, application in the aviation system, we have to, all the way, we have to focus about this here. Enter, uh, information technology as well as the operational technology, then automatically it will uh, re uh, decrease the cost. Then automatically the aviation uh, system will be more uh, efficiently, it will be working like that. So all the way here, the data is being processed uh, in flight and post flight, uh, combined with uh, some sort of human actions and content, and then combined with the IT in order to predict, diagnose, uh, diagnose the system and uh, some of, um, uh, uh, who should do what and where and when in order to optimize the asset utilization, uh, labor productivity, and also the uh, supply effectiveness. So these are the, some of the things. So here all the way here, the data is very important thing. So whenever we go for the IoT system, the data, the big data concept, the data is also indirectly we are focusing about the data. So ma massive value of data is also we are uh, using it, we are utilizing it. So that's why the data is being processed in flight and the post-flight operation also. So uh, as per the thing, this requires a yeah, combined, uh, that is the operational technology, that as far as the IT integration. So because authoritative data and the transactions move from an aerospace OEM product lifecycle management uh, system, through the manufacturing execution, that is the MES, uh, to an operator service lifecycle management system, SL, SLM system. Uh, so uh, in that case, uh, uh, the following diagram, that is this, this diagram to focus about the ecosystem of IT architecture. So how that uh, IoT, architect, I, I, IoT architecture will be activating in that uh, aviation industry. So this is the thing, so as per the thing, so the predictive maintenance is very important. So whenever we are considering about the predictive maintenance here, we are mainly focusing about the OA, OT and IT. So the operational technology as well as the information technology is the two important terminology that is information technology as well as operational technology. So these two term is very important term. So that is the IoT operational architecture. So whenever we go for a aerospace IT requirements, so what are the different requirements to be needed? Uh, when we go for focusing, when we go for using the IoT system. So in that case, uh, it supports the deterministic real-time control, that is uh, for the critical control loops. And sometimes it will support the required level of the redundancy also. Uh, say the single fault tolerance for the robotic missions or double fault tolerance for the human missions like that. And some other cases, it supports the sensors for vehicle subsystem uh, status monitoring. monitoring. As well as it supports the interaction with the crew and that mission control, and it supports the mission data acquisition and the storage as well as the communication. And apart from that, it supports the advanced and evolving functions, say the autonomous, that is autonomy, perception, and self-repairing also. So these are the, some of the aerospace IT requirements. Uh, so uh, whenever, so here a uh, very another important architecture diagram, so three tier vehicle information system. So not only it's uh, common for the three uh, layer, uh, three layer is there, uh, information layer, critical uh, avionics layer, uh, layer, core avionics layer. So as per the aerospace, uh, 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 we are using different IoT components. We may say the Q human computer interfaces is one important uh, components. Uh, information processes are some sort of story. That is another important thing. Uh, already I told you, because as per the avionics or as per the aero, uh, avionics system or the uh, aviation system, here uh, we are using data. Paper, right? Hello. Yeah, we are using a bulk amount of data. 
so the storage is very very important so uh, information processor uh, storage is another important uh, component in the iot uh, uh, aerospace iot system and apart from that uh, cndh processor so that is also very important thing that is cndh is nothing but command and command and data handling system and uh, some sort of wired and wireless network is also needed uh, some sort of network routers are also needed and sensors so sensors may be a better sensor can you hear me yes 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 yeah Uh, so uh, another important thing uh, we are using the firmware controller so the firmware controller only it will all the way it connect that uh, uh, hardware with the software so the software is integrated in that hardware that is a firmware controller some sort of firmware controller is also needed in that iot aerospace system and apart from that activators and some communication links also needed so this is a uh, important so these are some of the iot components in particular in the aerospace so that is a human computer interfaces uh, command and data handling systems some sort of storage uh, wired and wireless network network routers sensors activators firmware controllers and some sort of the communication links also needed uh, the communication link may be in terms of ima uh, virtual link or like that any 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 sort of link so this is a three layer architecture uh, particularly in the aviation system aviation information system yeah so next uh, concept next uh, what are the existing technologies in aviation industry so what are the technologies uh, apart from the iot system uh, apart from the iot what are the existing technologies we are using in the aviation industry the first one is a digit uh, digitized security so digitized security is nothing but uh, the today uh, state of art technology is being developed for implementing uh, some advanced concept such as uh, walk through security so it will be useful to reduce the passenger waiting time so that is already we are using it and another important thing biometrics are also being used for automating the verification process uh, it, it will reduce the burden of the staffing Uh, that is a second important technology second important security purpose first uh, the biometric is one important thing and and uh, uh, security systems are increasingly uh, becoming a major technology trend at the airport terminals as these are the equipped with the latest security system for some security purposes so that is the first security first technology that is the existing technology that is the digitized security all the way we are using the biometric second thing is a virtual reality for last minute changes we are for last minute changes so here a leading global aviation company has been uh, testing a new way for its passengers uh, to upgrade their tickets by allowing them the premium seats using vr you know, with the help of the virtual reality concept uh, so the airline company allow the passenger to upgrade at the last minute uh, apart from that the airline company said that the best way for understanding the benefits of a premium economy that has a extra leg room and a seat which can be done virtualized using the virtual reality console so that is a uh, already we are using it that is a very important uh, technology in the aviation industry that is a virtual reality console third important thing is the biometrics so the biometrics are being potentially used by the aviation industry for uh, some time now and it's again gaining a strong hold across this industry vertical some of the biggest airport across the world have invested in fingerprint as well as the facial recognition technology also uh, so the aviation industry emphasizes on using the facial recognition so that the passengers face becomes a new uh, passport uh, that is a one important challenge also so also at the various airport biometric based recognition is being implemented at the airport launch entrance as well as integrating this technology with the flight information display system for serving the passenger with a higher degree of personalized information along with some offer also so for that uh, they are using the bio biometric all the way in some of the airport they are implementing and uh, the, these are the, the some of, uh, some of the applications or some of the benefits with the help of this biometric so this is uh, some of the existing technologies in the aviation industry so what are the iot adoption challenges uh, so here the following are some of the challenges uh, 
uh, that have to be addressed for implementing IoT on the uh, that uh, wide scale. Uh, see uh, some of the challenges are first challenge the aviation industry has a number of uh, stakeholders and uh, each of these stakeholders has a own ecosystem and that includes the technologies and systems. So uh, simultaneously, uh, most of the stakeholders are dependent on each other for carrying out uh, the smoother uh, functionalities. As the adoption of IoT enhances, it becomes the important for the airlines. Uh, these uh, things, this, uh, with the help of the IoT system, it, it becomes important for the airlines to extend their reach uh, be, uh, that uh, beyond the localized enterprises and look to work with uh, those stakeholders that share a common vision of using IoT. So that is a uh, challenge. Second thing is that most of the airline companies operate on a global level uh, spread across a diversified geographical boundaries. So each of these geographies uh, has its own cultural diversity as well as the technological adaptability. Uh, so we may say from that uh, even for the connectivity also. So a yeah, successfully implemented IoT needs to support these regional variations also. So that is the second important challenge. Third challenge, the airline industry operates in a top-notch uh, secure environment. So as per this here, the security and privacy need to be the top priority for implementing IoT in the aviation industry. That is a very, very important issue or challenge, security and the privacy. Uh, so the privacy can also be seen as a critical issues whenever there is a deployment of advanced technology, such as we may say the biometric or facial recognition. So as an outcome of the larger volume of passengers, private data like that. So that is a very important challenge. Fourth challenge is a technology ecosystem for major number of airline companies is hosted by a number of complex legacy system and their supporting architecture. So on a contrary, we may say the IoT as a technology is still uh, at a budding stage with the uh, protocols, some sort of that we are using some protocol for activating IoT system. So with the protocol related to the communication and security still under the evolving stage. So that is a, another drawback or another challenge in the IoT, the IoT adoption. So these are the, some of the IoT adoption challenges. Uh, next, what are the opportunities for IoT in aviation? So the different op opportunities. So IoT offers a number of tremendous benefits to the aviation industry and its uh, rippling effects include the reduced travel time, enhanced the comfort, uh, comfort level of passengers with uh, better security levels. So in order to fully realize the IoT opportunities, the business and the governments need to coordinate with the same frequency for answering the political as well as the business issues related to IoT. So here some of the disruptive technology hold the several benefits when it comes to the aviation industry. The first one, I already told you that the internet connectivity. So here the 5G, so at present we are using the 5G. Then so when uh, the sensors are embedded in connected objects, it can be used for controlling, monitoring, and collecting accurate real-time data. So here the sensors have significantly improved over the past few years, but uh, wireless can be a key driver behind the emergence of these IoT devices so that operate in a Wi-Fi or a uh, strong cellular network such as 5G. So the 5G is one important opportunity or one important uh, technology in that uh, IoT in aviation. Second thing is a cloud computing. So as per the thing already, I told you the data, all the way we are using data. So the data storage is much heavy in that IoT application using IoT aviation, IoT in particular in aviation. So here the cloud computing, so it can be used for creating a common platform for handling and integrating data from several sources like people or some sort of processes and some sort of devices or systems so in that case, real-time data can be utilized uh, for gaining the purposeful insight from the current market data. And then uh, it will distribute uh, this information to the customer in a very short span of time. So in that case, like uh, cloud computing is a very important uh, technology to can enhance the uh, crowd chances offered by smart and connected markets. So third important thing is the smart cities. So as for the smart cities, all the what uh, airport terminals or the airports are connected. Uh, the concept of the smart cities. So that is a uh, here the use of the census data would be done for improving operations and cumulative passenger experiences also. 
and fourth important opportunity is the beacons so beacons offer the tremendous scope for iot gateways so these can be uh, placed across the entire airport infrastructure for triggering the notification on the passenger's mobile as soon as he he or she is in the uh, beacons range so these notification would be related to time or uh, the status of the flight or even the displaying the e boarding pass or uh, uh, e boarding pass on the passenger's mobile so like that so these are the some of the opportunities for iot in the aviation the growth of aviation iot industry which started from 2017 to 2020 2025 uh, they are expecting 19, uh, 1941 million us dollar used to for the uh, growth of the aviation iot industry uh, so that is a, a very important uh, thing in that uh, uh, growth uh, growth uh, particularly in the aviation industry uh, with the help of the iot concept So next day, real time examples of uh, IoT taking uh, flight in aviation. Uh, here, Internet of Things. The first uh, the example we may say the Internet of Things has really taken off in aviation. We look at which airlines, which airlines are emerging as early innovators. So some airline, uh, some real time real time example. We may say the first example EasyJet. So EasyJet may be a, a budget airline uh, specializing in affordable travel, but the the farm has really done something quite innovative in the internet of things uh, space through the wearable, wearable technology uh, so they claiming to be the first airline to use uh, some wearable technology it has equipped uh, cabin crew and uh, ground staff with wearable technology uh, uniforms like that so the new uh, suit is, uh, suit is fitted with uh, some led on the shoulders and hems to provide the visual guidance to the passenger and built in microphones for direct communication with the passengers pilots and uh, some crew members also so that is a one important thing so easyjet is also using the trons to inspect to its uh, fleet of air, airplanes also so that is a one important uh, real time example so second important example is a uh, uh, kelsinki airport so it's uh, it's in the in, it is in finland mainly it's using the wifi and ip cards to track the passengers as well as and offer the location based services also uh, so here the airport operator uh, fenavia uh, teamed up with a local company walk uh, base to install the dozens of sensors throughout the terminal so and these are capable to track all the smartphone from the car park to the terminal so with the help of that easily all the that uh, problem will be avoided all the queue it, it it can prevent the queues and some bottleneck uh, whenever where they appear so all the things will be sorted out with the help of that So it, it's available in the uh, uh, Finland airport, that is the Helsinki airport. Third important application, Virgin Atlantic. So uh, as per the thing here, the Virgin Atlantic Boeing that 787 is attached to the wireless airplane network. It's providing the real-time IoT data on everything from the performance to required maintenance. The aircraft can produce more than a third of a terabyte of data. That is a uh, terabyte TB, that one uh, that terabyte of data per per flight. and each one makes the hundreds so if not thousands of flights a year so the virgin has to collect and analyze this data but it's already being as uh, seeing the benefit so this is uh, another important thing so all the way in the virgin atlantic is a very important uh, that uh, all the way they are using the uh, wireless airplane network that's the thing fourth important thing the london city airport so london city airport climbed to the world first airport to test the iot after receiving approximately uh, some 8 lakh uh, euro in uk government funding to launch the pilot project in 2013 itself so that pilot project which has since become the full scale deployment was uh, to develop an interconnected sensor network and a data hub to track and understand the passenger flow and behavior in the airport so that uh, project mainly focusing about that uh, passengers journey with the help of the uh, sensors or camera uh, in, uh, with uh, with uh, that uh, tracking individual tracking Uh, through the airport uh, even the track assets also there they are using gps 3g wifi devices and also deliver the location based services to the customer also so that is a fourth important real time application fifth one is the miami airport so the miami airport also has a network of uh, some 500 beacons providing detailed information about the personal services to the customer and its terminal to the various uh, offers are like that so next uh, delta package uh, the uh, next uh, sixth one is a uh, delta package tracking 
so here mainly they are uh, using this uh, aircraft this uh, this uh, uh, thing mainly using our the it's a first us carrier to use the radio frequency identification package tracking technology that's rfid tracking technology they are using rfid tra tracking technology so these are the, some of the real time examples so apart from that one more example that's the qua the contrast virtual reality environment so here we are using the vr headset or smartphone app is using in the in the flight itself so this uh, virtual reality experience uh, the uh, it allows the travelers to explore the immersive destination content before booking their flight itself so that is the one important thing so apart from that uh, eight one is the airbus connected experience so that is also here the new airbus connected experience is all about the connected airplane uh, cabins so here is by connecting the element from the seat to the overhead pins to bathrooms via the iot so they can analyze the data pattern provide the real time update to cabin crew on the seat position food availability bathroom shortages and more like that so these are the some of the real time examples uh, apart from that uh, how is the internet of things changing the aviation industry uh, so the internet of things being used more and more and even uh, global giants are uh, already using the optimization or the information gathering solutions so all this to improve the existing processes, acquire, acquiring the uh, system as well as the process and report more data, or even introduce the new services for their client, so that by increasing the sales revenue. So uh, as for the thing, the how is the Internet of Things changing the reality of the aviation industry in the sense? So the first thing, uh, with the help of the sale of additional services. So here airlines are increasingly looking for solutions that will allow them to introduce the some additional fees and uh, increasing the sales like that. So here uh, the purchase of the preferred seat, uh, larger luggage, or priority boarding. So is uh, some of the uh, things. So that is a thing. Second important thing: Internet of Things solutions for the airport. So Internet of IoT solutions for the airport. Here the IoT solution allow not only for monitoring but above uh, all for the much uh, faster response to emerging the thread, some error or uh, downtime also. So that is a thing. Third important thing, IoT for passengers, Internet of Things for passengers. So all the way, IoT is useful in the uh, in addition to that changes for the airlines or the airport themselves. IoT is also expected to contribute to the passenger themselves. So here, uh, all the way, uh, suppose uh, for example, um, in the airport in Krakow, uh, an internet network for passengers was introduced. So the internet network is introduced. It, uh, the mobile devices belonging to the travelers can display the data collected by the airport and updated by the carriers. So, so all those things. So that is an important thing. Uh, so the future of IoT in the sky. So what are the future? Uh, future of so as far as the thing, the IoT capabilities are endless, and it clearly IoT is going to transform the airline industry, and it's going to benefit both the airline as well as the passengers. So exactly what will be created and launched in the coming years that uh, remains to be seen but it's uh, clear that iot development will be focused around the safety safety of the passenger second thing the maintenance so the maintenance cost or maintenance will be easily done so that with the help of iot and the efficiency of that thing so all the way the efficiency is also very important and security concern so the security is easily uh, with the help of that cyber security concern easily security will be uh, that uh, that uh, issue will be sorted out and that is the next important thing is the customer experience and personalization so that is also very important thing so as per the thing uh, what the airlines are already doing is the reason enough to be optimistic so the future of iot in the sky is arriving and it's looking quite nice also so as per the thing as per the conclusion here uh, the airport council international predict the global airport traffic will double by 2031 and China will become the largest passenger market in 2040. So these are some of the challenges, some of the things. So this increase in the air traffic will prompt the construction of new airports and upgrades and the expansion to the current airport also. So this uh, here uh, the service engineers teams are the responsible for all the way, all the things. So in that case, the aviation industry has just begun uh, the use of the IoT technology, so automatically the IoT houses uh, the capability that the airline needs today and is going to play a significant role 
in the aviation industry to evolve itself into a cognitive organization in the future. So this is the overview of the today's session. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you uh, so much for that um, interesting uh, session. Um, can we have one or two questions? Uh, yeah, yeah, please, please. Uh, yes. Yeah. Uh, participants can unmute and then ask your questions. We will take one or two questions. The floor is open for questions. So participants can unmute and then ask your questions. No questions. Sundarajan, sir. Okay. Uh, if there are no questions, uh, we will wind up. Yeah. Um, Yes, okay. On behalf of uh, the Department of Aerospace Engineering, Carnegie Institute of Technology and Sciences, I would like to thank Dr. S. Balakrishnan, uh, Professor and Head, uh, Department of Computer Science and Business Systems, Sri Krishna College of Engineering and Technology, Coimbatore, for uh, his interesting lecture on IoT applications in aviation. Uh, thank you, Dr. Balakrishnan, for your time yeah, and you. uh, for accepting our invitation and delivering the uh, talk. It was very interesting. And thank you so much.